Colbert. I'm a teaching artist for Metau Arts, a nonprofit arts organization in Twisp. Today we will be making uh, fruit and veggie portraits inspired by Giuseppe Arcimbaldo. For this lesson, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and some coloring materials. So I have colored pencils, but you could use markers or watercolors. Um, and if you have one, a black marker or a Sharpie. You don't really absolutely need one, but if you have one, it could be kind of nice. Giuseppe Arcimbaldo was an Italian painter in the 1500s. That's a long time ago. He is best known for his imaginary portrait paintings made from objects like fruits, vegetables, flowers, fish, and books. Today we're going to make our own veggie portraits. So let's take a look at my sample I made here, um, a sample veggie portrait. So for the head, I used a pumpkin. For the eyes, I used blueberries, a zucchini nose, a tomato mouth, lettuce ears, banana and strawberry neck and shoulders. So this is really fun because you can be silly and creative um, and we can just choose whatever fruits or vegetables um, we want to kind of create this portrait or person head. So first step is take your pencil and think of something you'd like to use for the head. So remember this can be really silly so it doesn't have to be um, a vegetable that's realistic, but you could be using a tomato or an apple or, um, you know, I actually might do a butternut squash. So go ahead and draw whatever vegetable or fruit you choose and just draw it nice and big on your paper, kind of in the center. And this is going to be our head. So here's my butternut squash. Great. Next, think of something you'd like to use for eyes. So I used blueberries last time, but I think this time maybe I'll use slices of apple, apple slices. So think of a fruit or vegetable you'd like to use for uh, your portrait's eyes and go ahead and draw them kind of where the eyes would be. So there's my apple slices. Now think of something you'd like to use for the nose. So do you want a long, a really long, big nose, or do you want a tiny little nose? Um, and think of a fruit or vegetable that might be somewhat nose-like. So I'm going to use a carrot. So there's the carrot. And now we need a mouth. So I think I'm going to use a slice of tomato again because that makes a nice smiley mouth. But you can use something else to whatever you want. Now, think of something for the ears. I think I'll use strawberries this time. And just kind of draw it where the ears would go. Okay. And for the neck, um, so in my sample here, I used a lot of smaller things for the neck, right? Like a lot of little strawberries and a couple bananas. So you could use uh, multiple smaller things, like a whole pile of blueberries or something for the neck. Or you could think of one bigger thing, like, um, like a big zucchini or a big piece of corn or something like that. So maybe, actually, maybe I'll do corn cob. That sounds kind of fun or a piece of a corn cob.
So now if there's anything else you want to add, um, like maybe you could add arms or uh, a vegetable hat or something like that, go ahead and add that now. So I think I, think I might add some celery arms to my person here. Okay, so now we're ready to add color. So this is really fun. You can kind of just um, color the vegetables in what color they would be in real life. And then the portrait kind of just comes together with color, which is really fun. So I'm going to start coloring in, coloring my carrot orange. And um, I'll just kind of color the vegetables in what color they would be in real life. And you don't, you know, you could invent the color too if you want, but it makes it kind of funny if they're. Uh, the color they would be in real life. All right, so now that we've colored it in, uh, if you have a black marker or Sharpie, you could outline it um, like I did in my sample here. So it kind of just makes it stand out a little more. But you don't have to. You could leave it either way you want, either without the outline, um, or I could trace over my pencil lines and kind of outline each vegetable with black marker. Great, so we made some veggie portrait uh, friends today, which is really fun. So thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great week.